Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here on this beautiful morning. Gonna start a new project. Uh, it's gonna be uh, some mushrooms. I'm gonna make some mushrooms for decoration in the yard, and I'm gonna do them a different uh, a different way. And uh, I'm gonna go around here now and mix up my cement and get started on my new project. And I want to thank everyone for watching my videos, subscribing, and sharing. I am so blessed and thankful for all, everyone. Thank you so much. It's okay, this is six cups of uh, Georgia sand, which I got off my road. I sifted it, and it's real fine. It's got no lumps in it. This is six more cups. This is six cups of Portland cement that I'm adding. Then you add your your water. And I don't want my mixture too too soft. I want it sort of firm. Don't pour too much water because you can't take it back out. You can add some other ingredients to it but if you be real careful and don't add too much to start with people says people say they hurt their ears they can't hear me talking for my wind chime so I hate that happens but I like them, but I don't like them to bother people. I think I've got it mixed up. It doesn't run. It just sticks to the trial and doesn't fall off. And that's what I, that's what I want. I don't want it real runny. So, do with that. Starting on my uh, my little mushrooms, I'm gonna put my uh, some of my mixture in another container to dip. Uh, my cloth in to make a mushroom like a, another way. I'm gonna uh, probably can't see this, but and y'all want and this is gonna be a mushroom. It's a it's a lampshade <laughs> to an old light that don't work anymore. I'm going to drape it with a cloth and, and make a mushroom out of it. I reckon. That's what I'm planning. But uh, all of them's not going to be that way. Some of them's going to be. And this is the mix that I'm mixing up. So I won't have to wet all my cement because I'm, I'm going to use some the other way. And I'm going to mix some. All you have to do is. Just get it a little more thinner. Oh, Lord. OK. 
Okay. I went ahead and cut my my cloth out. It's just no piece of cotton or blanket, and it's I I went ahead and cut it out so it could I wouldn't have to do that. So I'm going to dip it down in here and let it get wet, covered with cement. Okay, I've got it. I think I've got it saturated. Okay, I'm going to put it over this. off because I can't I can't do the things I want to do with them on right now No telling what people can find that they can use if they look around their house. <laughs> uh, this was an old lamp that uh, was a touch light and it didn't work anymore. So I just had it sitting around and I I said, well, I think I'm, that looks like a mushroom. I think I'm just going to try that and see if I can make a mushroom out of it. So that's what I did. That's what I tried to do. Turn it on all right. I love mushrooms. I, I love to find them in the woods and bring them up here and Use them in my projects. Okay, I'm going to set this around here and let it dry. There it is. I hope you can see it. <laughs> okay, I've got another one. That's an old tore up uh, light that I'm going to use. Okay, let's see, I just cut this piece. Let's see if it is going to be okay. Now I got to fold it. Old things that's laying around the house that you don't use anymore might could be used for to make something. I think that'll do. I'm going to drop it in this solution here. Get my flashlight. 
all I had to go all over the place to get this plastic. Every time I get back close to it, it'd fly away a little further away. My camera cut off. I'm still working on my bush room. One of them. Okay, I'm going to try some another way now. I'm going to put some in these bowls. That's that one. Okay, there's that one. This is my orange one. A little one. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry now. Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia and I'm out here this morning on this sort of cloudy day. Not bad. Sun has been shining some, but it's not right now. But I'm gonna uh, start painting and uh, seeing what my mushrooms look like that I put in the mold a few days ago. So that's what I'm out here to do right now. So, let's get started. Thank y'all for watching. This is the one that I started and I, it was a lampshade. <laughs> and so let's see how it turned out. Uh, let's take it off of this. Okay. This is my... There it is. There's the lampshade that I used. I think it made a great one. Now I'm going to kind of, if I can, knock off some of the rough edges. Doesn't matter that much. Okay. All right, that's the inside of it. This is the other mushroom that I made just just I put it over okay I'm gonna take this off I put it over this light this little other light that I had take the papers and stuff out that I put in there I 
hope this is going to be okay for a mushroom. I think I need my stand back over here. It's nice weather in Georgia. It's uh, been rainy a little, but uh, other than that, it's it's been pretty nice. Flowers are blooming. My uh, flowers that don't usually bloom until spring are trying to bloom. I'm just putting a, a bottom coat on here right now. I'm going. It's going to be a little different than it looks, but okay. I'm going to let this dry a little and see how it looks. I may uh, have to paint a little bit up under the bottom, but I can't get up under there too much. Let it dry a little more. Now I'm going to try to paint this other one. Let's see if I can put this somewhere. Okay, I'm going to put this one up here. This is one of my mushrooms that I put in a bowl. I put a uh, olive oil spray in it. That's that's gonna be a mushroom. And this little thing is gonna be a mushroom, a little one. This is going to be a mushroom. I made a bunch of them. This is another one. Well, that olive oil works great. Okay, this is another one. This is another one. That was, that's another one. So, okay. We'll start painting some of them. Just 
putting some paint on here right now and letting it soak into the little pores of the cement and then I'll go over them again but Trying to get them covered right now. Let's see what color I want to paint this one. Okay, Put that one over there aside. I think I'm gonna paint one of these red. I think I got some red paint left. This is acrylic paint, in case I didn't tell you, and I don't think I did. <laughs> I'm going to paint this one purple. This is just... I tried to make the other ones look sort of like a mushroom but these are little ornamental things that you put in your yard I'm gonna brighten them up a little bit okay I'm gonna set that set over there and dry okay I'm gonna paint this one yellow I think they're having a meet. Okay, I'm going down in my woods to see if I can find something to put on my uh, my mushrooms for a little uh, stem to put in the ground for to put my mushrooms on. So this is my pond. It's getting some water in it. It was sort of down low at one time, and all down here. Is the limbs and trees and stuff that had failed and me and my grandson come down and cleaned it out I was going to see if I could find some some 
limbs and stuff to put on my mushroom. There's one of my limbs that was hanging down, never did fall all the way. There's a bunch of my limbs, and here's the other ones that we threw over here out of the way because we couldn't, we couldn't do nothing with them. So I'm up here now looking for some some limbs to put my mushrooms on. So let's see if I can find some. I think I see one right. Maybe, maybe this one right here, that little forked one, would be a good one. I can cut them more, I can get them up to the house. That's okay, right there. That's a good one. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to try that one. Good one. Might be a good one. I'm just getting some things that might work. I don't know. Okay. Let's get one right here. I'm probably not going to use them all, but I'll have a choice which ones I want to use. Okay, I think I'm on. I think that'll be enough. On the way back to the house now, let me get all my sticks up. This is some of my flowers that I already have blooming in my yard. <laughs> and it's not even spring yet, but they're blooming so. Thank the Lord. I love them. Okay, I'm, I'm cutting these sticks. Uh, trying to make them work. I'm going to see how, if they do. These are not the best snips I ever had. Right here, I got to get some more. These are not cutting good at all. Okay, I'm putting Mod Podge on this mushroom right here. I, I just put it on that one. I, I didn't think about turning the camera on. Just 
just helps to seal it and dry Okay, good morning. I'm out here trying to finish up my project. This has been a <laughs> sort of a long one. I I don't like for them to be too long, but it seems like lately mine's been long. And I, anyway, I went up and got the limbs out of the woods that I, I gathered yesterday whenever I wanted to put my mushrooms on one of these limbs that came out of this hurricane we had. Uh, and this is them. And I had a time, I wanted my uh, mushrooms like on a little limb uh, like, and I'm gonna put it in a pot. These things won't stay down. But anyway, I'm gonna go over them now and look at them and see what other what other little paintings I need to do. What I did was I put these limbs in here and I put them put some made up some cement and stuck down in the little mushroom and let me see if I can get it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there it is. Oh uh, I put that mushroom on that and I'm gonna arrange it over here in a in a planner that I have that I'm gonna arrange them in this planner when I get when I get through with them. See there's the cement that I put them in. I, I made up some cement, just stuck the limb down in there and let it dry. So that's that's what I did just uh, yesterday after the I didn't film this because it was such a headache. But there's this one. And I'm going, <laughs> I think they're so cute. I've got to paint them up a little more. And this is this one. It's on a. Oh, it's already out. <laughs> okay, this is. Uh, let me get up. This is was kind of a, 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 a little hard to do right here, but my grandson helped me a little bit with a, getting getting them in there and getting them where they would stand up. And I was so tired, I just I just didn't uh, try to film this part of it. But I'm going to show you how. There it is. That's my mushroom. On a, on a stick. On a limb that come from my uh, woods. Let me lay it down. I don't want to break nothing. And this is another one that I... Did I show you this one? This is another one, and I've got to go over painting it a little and touch it up, and then it'll be 
it'll be ready to put in the pot over there and be, be done with this project. <laughs> my projects, my projects are taking on more time. All right, I'm going to lay this down. See, I put cement in there last night, late, and... Okay, now let me get my paint out. Uh, yellow. I need some yellow. Okay. Let's put the orange on here first. trying to get where you can see and I can see myself <laughs> this down camera cut off. I don't know what, why it's cutting off, but I guess I might need a new battery. Kindly limited on my <laughs> what I can do. I'm here holding one and trying to paint. And
Okay, I'm gonna let these dry. I don't even think these will stay in here. It's gonna probably turn over. Goodness. It shouldn't take long because acrylics don't uh, take long to dry when the wind's blowing and it's and it's blowing a little, not much. Okay. I'm going I'm gonna put some little dots on these uh mushrooms right here a, a few little I'm gonna see how they look I don't know I may not do it I don't know Okay, I've let my uh, mushrooms dry, and I've I've got this uh, old tub that I had. It was I painted it, and I got it ready. And this is what I'm gonna put my mushrooms in. Didn't show y'all the. I about forgot about these. I had them in the house drying. This is the other one that I made, and. I also put some cement up under here and stuck this old light in it and it just fit and it was perfect and I was so thankful. Oh, I got all kind of mushrooms here. This is some stuff that I got in my backyard. It looks beautiful. I'm finished with it, uh, I think. Thank y'all for watching this video. Have a blessed day. Subscribe and share. Thank you so much.